how we are celebrating today's events. Now, with me right now is the longest serving mayor and elected leader, leader Paul McDonald. He's clearly, uh, you've had a, so much experience under your belt. He is the newly, uh, sorry, not re-elected mayor of Agania Heights. Now, Mayor Kelly, you love what you do. You've been doing this for decades. What is the most rewarding part of me? The most rewarding part is uh, helping, having the programs that are needed for, you know, that would help uh, young people. And, uh, I believe that the uh, Mike staff is part of the success that we have. Uh, we have the longest program in the history of the uh, you know, the name of you, like uh, after the program, summer camp. Yeah, uh, it's a very powerful and debatable program. People don't realize that uh, you can buy coal, you have a lot of success in the program that you for the same Now, I love that you mentioned that this whole program because I did get the honor and privilege of working alongside you and your staff as part of the AmeriCorps program a couple years ago. So. Clearly, you know, you have so much experience under your belt, and um, obviously things don't always go smoothly, especially during this year with the pandemic. What are some of the challenges that I would say you have faced? Yeah, to run the programs and keep up with the facilities. You know, I have a first gym, I have the longest uh, soft, uh, baseball field. And uh, keeping up with uh, the facility, you know, uh, so that people can use it and uh, our kids can, uh, can uh, benefit from all the facilities that we have. Now, obviously, you have a lot of wisdom coming with you. What, are some, what is some advice that you can give to some of your the first thing I'd, I'll tell them is to please keep, keep your, um, your constituents aware of what's happening. Services that are now relevant because of the virus um, that can actually service more of our people. It's really just trying to be creative and to think out of the box. So that's where I think the uh, challenge is uh, ready for the challenge. Okay, again, thank you so much. Newly elected Vice Mayor of Manila, Delgado. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Viva Blanc. Viva. All right, now we are going to look for newly elected Mayor of Digo, uh, Anthony Santos. See if he's still here. A lot of uh, oh, he went outside. Okay, I guess we're gonna we're gonna move on out. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, 
reporting live from the Guam Museum. She just spoke with Kevin uh, Kevin Delgado, the vice president of the village of Kilau. Mayor of for 23 years as the Council of Guam inauguration, obviously, because they served four year term. Um, Angel Sablon during today's ceremony announced that he plans on. Uh, they didn't announce will take the leadership roles uh, for the mayor's council. That will occur tomorrow when they have their special meeting in the morning. I know your family. The Calvos. Yes, sir. Yeah, I know your dad really well. It's, it's great to see you and meet you personally. Thank you, thank you. I think we're just waiting to see when they're Okay, Ty. Yeah. Ed, with the okay. I'm here with newly elected mayor of Chico, Mr. Anthony Sanchez. Congratulations, thank you, by the thank way. You, thank you. Now, you are no stranger to public service, uh, previously serving as vice mayor at, of Chico. Uh, there were a lot of people who ran, but uh, you can now, on top of now, by the mere fact that there were so many people who were seeking to mayoral job, uh, some would say that this would mean they desperately want to change. Uh, having said that, what change will you bring to Jigo's mayor office? Well, the change that I would bring is trying to get the community together to get things done in our village. The mayor's office can't do it by ourselves. We need to get the community involved. There's a lot of things that we need to do that the mayor's office has limited resources. So by getting the community involved, that's the way we're going to move our village forward. We all need the help, and I, I'm hoping the village are, of res, uh, residents of people are listening right now. Please, I'm going to reach out to you guys for help. We all need the help. We can't do it ourselves. And if there's anything that the mayor's office can do to assist you guys in any way, please give us an office a call. Thank you. Absolutely, it takes a village. Now, yes. during the campaign, several people brought up some of the major issues in Gigo, and uh, that is the huge problem with illegal dumping. What will we do to address the issue? Well, with the illegal dumping, we just have to work with the other government agencies, EPA, uh, the other mayor's offices, to try and find a solution to try and solve this illegal dumping. I mean, like I said, we, as the mayor's office, we can't do it by ourselves. We need the people of Gigo's help to try and stop these illegal dumping. Right. And your goals for 2021? Continue the hard work. All That's right. all I can do is continue the hard work and let it speak for itself. All right. Congratulations, Thank Mayor. Thank, Thank you, you so much. You're welcome. And we have uh, Vice Mayor Loretta Leones. Now, congratulations, newly elected Vice Mayor of GIGO. Now, what they did mention in the inauguration ceremony is that you are the first full Filipino uh, vice mayor of Chico. How, yes. how is that making you feel right now? Right now, I feel like too excited to be a uh, vice mayor of Chico and uh, try to work with uh, me or uh, Anthony Sanchez to, to assist the community in the improving in our community. And then I will do what I can. Now, um, Vice Mayor Leonis, what made you decide to run for public office? Well, as uh, I've been in the council for many years, municipal planning council, and a lot of my friends are invited to try to run to Vice Mayor. I think about it. So, when it's getting closer and it's come to a uh, file, so I decided to go get the packet and Files. Then after that, after I get everything ready, that's the time I ask my wife, my family, yeah, your uh, dad running for big vice mayor. Then okay, that we will support you. Well, great way to start off uh, the new year. So congratulations again. Thank you. Very much. All right, and that's about it for us. I'm down here again, live at the Guam Museum, where your village mayors and vice mayors were just sworn in. Uh, their first order of business is an official meeting scheduled for tomorrow at 10 a.m., where they will be uh, electing the officers and leadership of the mayor's council of Guam. Uh, additionally, the governor issued a statement this morning prior to 
the inauguration of the senators and mayors saying let's get to work and it looks like they are eager to do that um reporting live from the bomb museum i'm tana matinani we'll see you all off tonight at six on prime time Thanks a lot, Tyler, reporting from the Mayor's Council of Guam inauguration. One thing Angel Sablon said is that uh, <laughs> individuals take their oath of office, each come from an eclectic background, and that in their diversity, they bring together one commonality, a strong desire to serve the people of Guam. Also, Governor Lulian Guerrero, she gave the uh, opening remarks. She congratulated the mayors and the vice mayors, saying this is a tremendous honor, and it certainly isn't one that any elected official takes lightly. This past election and the whole year was difficult for all of us, but in a remarkable demonstration, it, the power of democracy was shown. Our people came out and voted and their voices were heard. Mayors and vice mayors were elected because of your vision, your message, and that it resonated with voters. The governor also said that you know the neighbors, their stories, their struggles, you celebrate with them and cried with them in terms of sadness and tragedy. Uh, the governor also said that as village mayors, you are one of their biggest advocates, and she's talking about uh, their constituents. Each of you represent the heart and soul of your residents. Uh, much of our success during this pandemic has been because of your partnership with village or their partnership with village leadership. She said that our recovery is dependent on working together. To the